Hey there, future watchers. It's time to dive into another AI news roundup. But first, as we're on the verge of hitting a milestone with 100 subscribers, all thanks to your incredible support, I thought it was high time for a little makeover. Here goes. Wow, that felt weird. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Over the coming weeks and months, I will upgrade as AI upgrades, but I'm still Angel, and I'll be here to make sure you know what's going on in our rapidly changing world. Today, we're diving into some seriously exciting AI news. Let's get into it. So first up, a petition signed by some of the biggest names in tech, including Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak, is calling for a moratorium on the development of artificial general intelligence, AGI. With mixed reactions from experts, one thing is clear. We need to think about AGI's potential risks and benefits and how to develop it safely and responsibly. So, should we hit the brakes or keep pushing forward? What do you think, future watchers? Let us know in the comments. In public impact news, Clearview AI, known for scraping billions of images from social media, has run nearly a million searches for US police. Critics argue that this puts everyone in a perpetual police lineup and raises concerns about privacy and civil liberties. While facial recognition can help solve crimes, its accuracy, especially for people of color, remains questionable, leading to wrongful arrests. Civil rights advocates are demanding greater transparency and independent scrutiny of the tech. Stay tuned. We'll keep an eye on the balance between fighting crime and protecting individual rights. Meanwhile, OpenAI announced this week a plugin system for GPT-4, which will enable developers to create custom versions of the popular software with unique capabilities and features. This is like the iPhone App Store moment for AI, and we can't wait to see the innovative applications that emerge from this new plugin system. Lastly, Google just released new details about its tensor processing units, TPUs, used for training AI models. Their fourth generation TPU-based supercomputers are up to 1.7 times faster than comparable systems from NVIDIA. To handle the ever-growing size of AI language models, Google has connected over 4,000 TPUs using custom-developed optical switches, allowing the models to be split across thousands of chips. This interconnected system was used to train Google's largest publicly disclosed language model, Palm, across two four such supercomputers in 50 days. With their flexible circuit switching, Google can easily reconfigure connections between chips for improved performance and reliability. Google's AI supercomputers are already in use, and the company is hinting at a new TPU to compete with NVIDIA's H100 chip. That's it for this week's AI news, future watchers. We've got AI petitions, GPT plugins, and faster processors all making waves in the AI world. Is the technology moving too fast or not fast enough? Let us know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. As always, remember to keep one eye on the future and both hands on the wheel. This is Angel. Peace out.